mean, you could use like powdered milk instead of like regular milk. You could save <laughs> more money. You could. Well, you could. Like, <laughs> like on on some level, people need hedonism, which is like. So what I mean by hedonism, I don't mean like the the. I think there's like this island festival, and it's just like a bunch of old cougars go there. And there's a lot of ripping and tearing, apparently. So, so wait, I don't what? mean this. <laughs> okay, so, wait. What kind of cougars? Okay, are okay, <laughs> like like cougars, like no, you like took the bait. old 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 women, and, okay. and like they're looking to get laid. And then there's like old men there. They're looking to get laid. Ripping okay. and tearing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have one thing left to explain. Um, it's it's exactly what you imagine. So okay. I encourage you after this podcast. Maybe I'll even show it to you. But if you're listening, I encourage you just. I think it's on YouTube. The ripping and the tearing. Plus. The ripping and the tearing. Okay. Anyway, so that's okay. hedonism. Just leaving it's, that blank. It's this right. guy, this guy, he's amazing. It, it's, I can't explain it. I, oh, oh, I really the, can't like, explain it. Is that the it. channel name? Ripping and tearing? No, it's he, this, this crazy fucking guy. He's just, he's at this festival, hedonism, and he's like a cougar or like, he's a guy cougar. I don't know what they're okay. called. A tomcat? Fuck, I don't know. Baby, baby, or what, cradles? No, because he's not going. I don't know. An old guy looking to get laid. And, right. and so he's like, go. I'm at this festival and there's some l- the lovely ladies, the lovely ladies, the ripping and the tearing, the ripping and the tearing. And he's describing the festival as this, uh, yeah, the ripping and the tearing. So like tearing f- f- tissue, I imagine. Flesh. Oh, okay. I don't know. Fuck, That's, man. It's brutal. It's wild. Is, is this it's, illegal? It sounds, it's in illegal. the Caribbean, I think. Um, okay, so anyways, when there. I say hedonism, I don't mean that uh, kind of scary festival but the psychological <laughs> concept of hedonism which is kind of the instant gratification and 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 being able to do things that make you happy in the moment and so that's one of those things that um like a vice enables uh, if you can just quickly do something and it gives you this this kind of feedback this uh sensory feedback in your brain you feel yeah. glad you know one of those things that's a very hedonistic venture is going and looking at memes uh, like watching comedy, just things that make you happy that you know will make you happy, and and then you'll go and seek that behavior again. Um, and so that's one of the psychological concepts of how people can be happy is that you need uh, this this le- a level, a certain level of instant gratification, a certain level of like I need this constant is it feedback. Need? Yeah, if you don't get it, like if you always make it this delayed gratification, which is called eudaimonia. Uh, or eudaimonism, I might be fucking up that word, sp- like pronunciation, but okay. um, that's the idea of delayed gratification yeah. for happiness. And so if you're always doing that, then you're always sacrificing and you're never going to be happy in the moment until you reach these big payoffs. And then when you get there, you're still sacrificing. So it doesn't fucking, it doesn't feel like you've really done anything. I haven't accomplished anything because you still have to okay. keep sacrificing. So it's really important that you have a balance between eudaimonia and hedonism, delayed gratification oh. and instant gratification, or else people will go fucking insane. So I guess the ideal is to coordinate them so that you get your instant gratification yeah, by working so, towards your So in a perfect, goal. exactly, in a perfect world, you would, you'd set up your, your hedonistic kind of, uh, input as being something that's economically tenable i would think not like well i need i need my fucking coffee my five dollar coffee and then they jack the price up of coffee ten dollars and like your crack fiend fucking need that shit still and now you can't afford it because who knows you got laid off i don't know but you still need it and you need that that vice but it's now economically unfeasible for you that's where you run into a huge problem with this kind of uh idea of just being able to purchase something makes me happy so I can just do it. So I, I kind of, in a way, disagree with you. Like, oh, what's the big use? I don't think that it's good to, I don't think it's a good practice just in general as being a human being to attach your happiness to things that you buy because you can get into a real big problem there where if you get more money, now you're an addict who just has infinite supply of of dose you can just buy as much coffee as you want and or the opposite now you don't have access to that that economic uh like whatever your money and now you're fucking you're gonna ruin your life getting that coffee so like and, you get you get entrenched into a vice and then the cost increases it, well something as, like as something's in. bound to change right, right. So it's life it, it, so okay. i just like economically it is the economics of it are kind of sketchy to me to to be attaching 
your happiness to things that you buy. That's a really right. scary concept. Yeah. And I think that's something that's been really hammered into us over the years to be like, yeah, consumerism is fine. Just like if you're, if you're, if you need your coffee to, to be happy, then that's fine. I don't think that that's fine. I, I want to push back on that because I think consumerism is kind of making, lulling you into this idea that that's okay to attach your happiness to things that you buy. But there's a distinction between what we should do what's probably healthy for us and what is permissible and I, I, it sounds to me like like tyler's arguing that it should be permissible for people to buy shit that makes them 100 percent. Yeah. like like at the end of the day nobody should be able to tell someone else what to do with their money right. but i'm just saying from just a general like personal if if you're starting to attach your your happiness to these things then that could be a, a really big issue be, for yeah. you in the future. Yeah. Like, uh, it, regardless of the judgment, I don't think it's it's right for anyone to judge anything on on things that they do if they're socially accepted. If you're allowed to go and buy coffee, go and buy twenty thousand gallons sense. of coffee in a day. That's fine, uh, but that doesn't extend to like you know all actions, right? They're still but, in, inexcusable yeah. things. E, 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 yeah, and I, and and I agree um, because like there's there's a lot of people who who the, the, like the, the in, in 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 this day if 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 you're if you're not disciplined in your budgeting for example is why a lot of people make a lot of money off of debt and budgeting um teaching seminars um if you're if you're if you're someone who like for example you want to buy a house in 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 british columbia um that's a very daunting task it's it's half a million easily pretty much almost any metropolis is half a million easy um, for something that's only a thousand square feet or like an, a, a decent apartment size. Um, and, and, and that's daunting. And, and, and so a lot of people, they, they, they're, they're, they're like, man, you know, I could save 70% of my paycheck, every single thing. And I could get that thing in five years and I won't go into debt. But at that time when, when, when if you take it to that extreme, you won't be able to enjoy anything intermittently. Which, which is which is a very good distinction that, that that Gunner made, where it's like, yes, yes, I could save that, but that's such a delayed gratification that you will be miserable getting there. And by the time you get there, you'll realize, well, shit, now I have to save for all these other things that I want to do, and that's going to take you forever. Um, like, say you want to go on vacation. Oh, well, that's going to take me another two years to save. When you could have just either went into a little bit of debt up front and 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 then use a little bit of that a little bit of that debt to then go on a vacation and enjoy your life and 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 you, you, you there's there, there's ways around it and to alberta yeah <laughs> or, or just or just don't live or a daily where you want to live oh, or it'll um, just work really hard like pick up some shifts get a second job i don't know there's ways to yeah. delay gratification that yeah. aren't just budgeting yeah but but at the, at the same time it's it's that that's a very important distinction where as, as, as you're going towards those major goals to change your life or to get out of something or to, to do something that makes you happy, that you need to do something else intermittently because if you delay until that, it'll just drive you crazy because you will have no gratification up to there.